everyone, welcome to the show. My name is Tom, of course. Today we are reviewing a beast called the Horned Serpent. Let me tell you about this monster. He's big boy. I want you to imagine the biggest submarine sandwich you've ever seen. Alright, loaded with pepperoni. Loaded with green peppers. Plenty of house dressing on it. Well, it's bigger than that. Otherwise, perfect analogy. No, look. This monster is like a snake. Alright, except it lives balloon... Balloon ground? It lives in a balloon in the ground. No, it lives below ground. Unlike other snakes that live in the air. No, this creature swims below ground. Alright, it swims through the dirt like nothing's there. Also, it has antlers. Yes, it can swim through dirt with antlers. I know you're saying, what does that have to do with me? Well, the thing is, yes, this creature lives underneath the earth, but when it's dinner time, it puts down the Xbox controller and runs upstairs. And guess what's on the menu, by the way? Your children. The Horned Serpent is an incredibly selfish and deceitful monster that lived in the prehistoric times of Native Americans. This serpent was the size of a tree trunk. And it was bright yellow and covered with iridescent colors and stripes. And it had a bright blazing crest on its forehead, like a diamond. And it also had the horns of a powerful stag. Oh, also it had magical powers. Like the ability to cause a blinding light. Or cause its enemies to faint or hallucinate. It sometimes had battles against Native Americans, but its greatest rival was the Thunderbird. The Horned Serpent is a lecherous and lascivious animal, motivated by greed. It loves women's jewelry and other fancy things, like gemstones and beautiful diamonds. It is always plotting to take them. The beast is also afraid of rainbows, or getting hit by lightning. And most of all, it's afraid of getting kidnapped by the Thunderbird or flung in the air. There is ancient lore from a long time ago when the Horned Serpent actually took the form of a handsome man and asked a young woman to marry him. But he was actually after her jewelry box which was filled with necklaces and other fine things. And he wanted that. And so he would keep her hallucinating until he could grab it. But the very last second, the wedding ceremony was halted by the mighty Thunderbird. The people ran away screaming. But what they didn't know is the giant bird was there to save the day. He smacked that bad snake and sent it flying. And then he swept up the bright bee and carried her safely to a magic island in the Thunder World. The horned serpent loves deep, dark water and traveling through underground tunnels. Moundville, Alabama, which is replete with dark caves and interconnected tunnels, is also decorated with the iconography of the Horned Serpent. It has a pond 
said to be bottomless, where the snake lives. And it uses tunnels to go anywhere it wants to. The area is said to be haunted and is often avoided by natives. Some say the serpent is actually the sidewinder snake or horned snake or possibly some now extinct giant snake from many thousands of years ago. Others say it goes to sleep in a pit for a hundred years. There are also notable similarities to other legends, such as the death worm of Mongolia, the feathered serpent of Mesoamerica, or the Villoricos horn serpent found on the shores of Spain. And then there are Bible scholars who have studied Native American accounts of the Great Flood. The legend traces back to a series of events set in motion by a serpent telling lies to a woman. In a garden. No, not in a garden. All right, everyone, I'm glad we had this time together to sit down and review the facts about the horned serpent, which only comes to life every hundred years or so. And I'm sure that it is, this is not the hundred year mark. It's probably not. I mean, what are the odds of that? One in a hundred. And it didn't happen in your lifetime or your parents' lifetime, so. Anyway. Well, I guess it's time for you all to go about your business now. Forget about the horned serpent. And it's time to uh, get your kids ready. <laughs> go stand at the bus stop. <laughs> what? What? It's time to go about your day now. Have your kids go stand in the dirt outside. Wait for the what? I told you, the horned serpent only comes to life sometimes. And you're going to go about your day now. Now that you have this behind you, you can walk outside like a walking hot dog. You're all like chili dogs from Sonic. To this creature, which is like tremors of views by radar. It just sees a moving chili dog. You are already on your way to Sonic! Because you were gonna get the chili dog and toss special. Oh boy, that just makes it worse. Well, anyway, thanks for joining us tonight. Sleep tight. Oh, you were gonna be camping tonight, sleeping in a sleeping bag. That's like a hot pocket for this creature. Anyway. Sleep tight, everyone. We'll see you next episode.